I think I'm about tired of seeing y'all today. The reason I say that is because we, this is our fourth video of the day and every single update is in regards to an injury. It is. Uh, first off, we talked about Devontae Freeman getting promoted to the active roster and Le'Veon Bell remaining on the practice squad. And some may say, whoa, that, that video wasn't about an injury. It was just about the call-ups. Well, how did Devontae Freeman and Le'Veon Bell even get here in the first place? Exactly. Uh, and then we talked about the Ronnie Stanley and him being hurt. We don't know the significance of his injury. We don't even know exactly what it is, but it's been said that he may be out for a little while. So we'll see what happens with that. And then the Chris Westry news just rolled in and he has a torn whatever it was. I forgot exactly what it was, but it doesn't matter because he is out for probably going to be a while because it's something that's torn. And now and now it continues. Mr. Devin DuVernay, Raven starting kick returner, punt returner. Uh, he is injured as well. Let's read what Jeff's Zrebic had to say. This is crazy. This is so crazy, man. Uh, Jeff Zrebic said the only changes to the Ravens injury report is wide receiver and returner Devin DuVernay being added to it with a groin injury. He went in after the special teams portion. So... This is like a bittersweet thing. Obviously bitter because it's another name on a long list of names of guys that are hurt. But sweet because, well, it's sweet because of what we don't know yet. Because they didn't say that he's going to be out for a while. They didn't, go, they didn't say that a card had to come out for him. They didn't say that he's expected to miss the game, anything. They didn't say anything like that. So what, what the sweet part of this whole thing is, is what we don't know. Because we don't know what to expect. Because nothing has been confirmed yet as far as Devin DuVernay's status moving forward. So that's really the only sweet part right now. Because with Ronnie Stanley, we got the expectation of his status moving forward. Uh, with, obviously, with the running backs, sorry, you already know. But with um, Chris Westry. We know he's going to be out for a little while. But with Devin Duvernay, we, we just don't know yet. So we can hold our heads high with that. Um, now, real quick, I do really appreciate, because I've been seeing a lot of y'all messages and stuff, uh, people in the comments section, who have just been just so positive through everything. Um, so I've been getting a lot of personal messages uh, because I know a lot of people. Like, you, you, you cannot... Tell somebody how to be a fan of a team. You cannot tell somebody how they should react to whatever news a team is going through. Uh, you cannot tell somebody how they should feel about anything because you're not them. They're them. You're you. You may feel a certain type of way about something. They may feel a certain type of way about something. Sometimes you may agree. Sometimes you may not. But that's life. You don't need to try to tell anybody how they should feel about anything. And just because you don't agree, there's no need to tear them down. It's, that's senseless. It's no point in doing that. It's not. Because you're not going to get anywhere. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people feel like the Ravens aren't going to get anywhere. Because of all these injuries. And, again, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But still, it's, it's any given Sunday. That's one. And it's, it's week two. We're going into week two. There hasn't even been a game in week two yet. And I know somebody could be like, well, it hasn't even been a game in week two yet. And we still got all these injuries. And it's, yeah, that's true. I ain't mad at that. Um, but hopefully with Devin DuVernay, uh, this just ends up being a, a minor thing. I can hope. But the last time we heard about somebody's groin, it was Marlon Humphrey. Kept him out of practice for a little while. They were like, hey, you ain't going no more until it's time for the season to start. Uh, another groin injury we heard about, too, was Rashad Bateman. And that's what really worries me with Devin DuVernay. And just worry, because it's a groin, a groin injury, is a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, because it, it, it could be kind of short term. It could be also be long term. And it could be one of those lingering things that, depending on the severity of it, again, we don't know yet, but depending on the severity of it, he could be out for just a minimal amount of time, or he could be out for a long time. It could linger. It could not linger. We just don't know. And that's, that's one of the scariest parts about the whole thing is that we just don't know. 
So we'll just keep watching. We'll just keep waiting. And we'll just keep hoping that Devin DuVernay doesn't get added to the long list of people that are like the end of the videos. And 